Our Bears conversation presented by Xfinity continues with Silky D, former Bear. Dennis McKinnon joins us now. Hey, welcome. We're glad to have you. I got to add a little more color to the stage. I, I'm glad that you did. <laughs> yes, looking bright in your red. Got to love it. You know, Dennis, we've been talking a lot about the Bears and the offense. Of course, that's what everybody wants to talk about. A couple of years ago, you discussed this offense. And at the time, you talked about a suspect offensive line and Jay Cutler learning a new system. Well, uh, deja vu. Here we are again. <laughs> Do you think that Cutler's gotten better in the last couple of seasons? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, until he plays a full season, it's kind of st still evaluations out there. Um, you still... He's the point of attention right now based on being the supposed leader of this football team. Um, but if he can stay healthy, um, I think you're out on that. We've got a very tough schedule this year. The Bears really can't, I think they're showing last year, can't win without him. Mm -hmm. So he really has to figure out a way to be on the field every Sunday. Silky still looks like he could play, by the way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you played with a ton of quarterbacks, obviously, the Super Bowl season. Jim McMahon was the main guy, but there were guys who were hurt, and it always was a revolving door. Would you have liked to play with Jay Cutler? Well, I had Peyton in the backfield, so we weren't going to throw the ball that much. We didn't have to. Right. Um, <laughs> but I think every receiver wants to be in offense where you get the ball thrown to as much as these receivers do right now, but I'll take five division championship in the Super Bowl over any stat. Absolutely. Now, you said every receiver wants the ball. Brandon Marshall certainly does. Does Cutler target him too much, or is that just the true definition of your number one receiver? It boils down to trust. The reason why he had almost 118 balls mm -hmm. last year is trust. And until he trusts Bennett and the new kid, Martellus, they brought in, um, he's still going to throw to 15. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think for them to be a balanced offense and to be really respected, other guys got to step up. And I think right now, Earl Bennett got a, a major extension a few years ago. He has to stay healthy. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially when you're in the slot, he's going to have to be the go-to guy when they start doubling Marshall this year. You know, you talked about a sweetness. And this town is known for running backs, and it's known for defense. And it seems like every regime, it's always a defensive-minded head coach. Yes. Finally, an offensive-minded head coach. As a wide receiver, are you thrilled to see this? Yes, because most all or the team that we play, especially on a division, they score points. Mm -hmm. So you got to have an offense that, that, can, that can compete with teams who score 30 a game. I think we only averaged like 17 last year. That's not going to get it. Um, so offensively, we're going to have to carry the Bears this year, and, and hopefully our defense will find that rhythm that we're used to seeing. Um, but we've got too much explosive power on offense not to be able to score. Yeah, this was going to be my next question. Do you feel like the, the tools are all there, the pieces are all there for this to be a team that contends in the division and then perhaps beyond? Well, I'll tell you what. No more excuses. Mm. You got everybody you asked for. You got your left tackle. You got your receiver. You got your running back got paid. You know, you brought in a big tight end to fill that void in the middle of the field. Everything's in place now for them to be successful. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to give you a couple of quick questions from our audience via Facebook. The first one um, we've got here is coming from Michael. It says, hey, Dennis, given Brandon Marshall's short tenure, where would you rank him in terms of the best Bears ride wide receivers? <laughs> he says, give us your top five. On numbers, uh, he's at the top of the list, but to be a Bears wide receiver, you got to be able to block. I haven't seen him do that at overturn kicks. He hasn't done that either. So, you know, I'm always comparing him against my guys. and. Uh, but for what he's been able to do in the short time he's been here, he's at the top of the list, and uh, he's only going to get better. A second Facebook question is from Dennis. Uh, we have the weapons on offense. However, do you fix our offensive? Is, is the offensive line problems fixed? Well, I think protection is always your blind side, and we, we addressed that issue in the offseason by bringing in Bushrod. And, uh, you know, Jay plays a lot of shotgun. With the skill position, especially the tight end, now you don't have an extra man in the box and you can open up the middle of the field. And uh, I tell you what, yeah, I'm excited about what the possibilities are with their offensive-minded head coach um, who wants to put the ball up. So when you look at this team, put it all together, put it in your calculator. What, what's their record? Barring injury, 11-5. Really? That's good. That's, that's good. It makes me optimistic. They're one better than last year, and um, <laughs> that, that is exactly what I picked, too. And so the two I'll wins, instead of, instead of me saying 9 and 7, 11 and 5, two wins over Green Bay. Two wins over Green Bay. If we can get two wins over Green Bay, that's my Christmas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that would be, be a good Dennis. holiday season. <laughs> be a great holiday. Thank you, Dennis, so much for coming in tonight. If you would like to meet Silky D live and in person, you can at the annual 7-Eleven Franchise Owners Association of Chicago Golf Outing.
<laughs> That's August 22nd at St. Andrews Golf and Country Club in West Chicago. Proceeds from the event support Lurie Children's Hospital and two other local charities. You can get more information at 711foac.com or call the number there on the screen. We'll also have this information posted on the sports section of our website, myfoxchicago.com. Dennis, thank you so much for joining us for this Bears Talk. We want you to stick around, though, because we're going to play rant and rave a little bit later. Fabulous. And we know you have some opinions. <laughs> Look so forward to it. Bring them, and we'll see you in a little bit.